I'm seriously nervous, so if you could help me out, do you want something serious or something fun? Funny. So I'm going to disappoint half of you. I'm not often lost for words. You see, I read them every day to help me feel driven, I listen to them every chance that I'm given, and I hope one day to write and perform them for a living. So I'm thinking maybe I could be forgiven for not being willing to give in to this chilling and deeply unfulfilling, drilling sensation of being tongue-tied, but let me tell you about the girl who curled my tongue. She's got this wild smile, as wide as a mile, and she sells seashells. Down by the seashore, yeah, she sells seashells down by the seashore, yeah. She sells seashells down by the seashore, and I buy one more for her every single day because I just don't know what else to say when I approach her. So now my room is full of these little jewels of the beach, and I'm going to teach them to say the harder things, the smarter things, the cut right through to the hard things that I can't quite bring myself to do in front of you, or else I could train them to sing in perfect harmony to the melodies of songs that I no longer grasp, such as supercalifragilisticexpialidocious to show the psychosis my words are atrocious, and I know this. Look, what I don't know is why I can't just fucking speak to her. It's not like I'm I'm weaker, meeker, can't open my beak because this feeling is unique to me and I'm meant to be the cheeky chappy that's always happy but this girl had me tongue-tied. And I'm not often lost for words. I said I read them every day, tell me feel driven, I listen every chance that I'm given and I write and perform them for a living. So I'm thinking maybe I could be forgiven for not being willing to give in to this chilling and deeply fulfilling, thrilling sensation of being tongue-tied. But let me tell you again about the girl who curled my tongue. You see, when she's not selling seashells down by the seashore, she's working at the shoe shine shop. Where she sits and shines and shines and sits, sits and shines and shines and sits. And she had the most incredible pair of lips. Hey, you can call me old fashioned, but I would rather get introduced before I reproduce. And I want to know more about you. I want you to know more about me. Can I ask you a question? Is it just seashells? Or do you know everything about the sea? Has anyone ever shown you how you could cram a clean clam into a clean clam can? Or told you how many friendly anemones actually have enemies? Yeah, many friendly anemones and many an enemy enemies. And although it might look like it, I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker, son. I said, I'm only plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucker comes. And I want to lie down with you underneath the stars on that piece of grass by the side of the road where we exchange the important questions like how much wood... Can I fucking woodchuck chuck about woodchuck could actually chuck wood and how much love could this love have if this love could have love and how many bears could bear grills grill <laughs> if bear grills could grill bears I want to lie down with you under the stars of that piece of grass by the side of the road while we listen to the traffic roaring past us one by one oh look there goes a red lorry and a yellow lorry, a red lorry, a yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Look, I'm sorry, my words always come out the way I want them to, but I'm not often lost for them. You see, I, I read them every day, I'm driven to listen every chance I've given a right from them for a living. So I'm thinking maybe I could be forgiven for not being willing to give it to the shilly, deeply fulfilling, drilling sensation of being tongue tied. Or maybe I should just shut up for a second and let you talk for a while. <laughs>